Hello, hello, Masha is here. In today's video, I will be doing fiberglass nails. Fiberglass with a builder gel can create nails superior in strength to poly gel. I think they look the most natural compared to other types of nail extensions. I need strong nails for my lifestyle and I just don't like acrylics even though they're quite strong and poly gel I do like but it's a bit on a softer side so I've decided to give another try to fiberglass. I first came across fiberglass nails about a year ago when it was trending on Instagram and got a kit. I did not care all that much about the builder gel that it came with, it was a bit runny but this time I used IBD gel with fiberglass and it turned out great so let's see how I did it. So in my previous video I've built my nails with the Dollar Tree nail tips and IBD gel but they didn't last and the next day I removed them completely and started building a new set with fiberglass and IBD gel. And that's why I'm not showing my nail prep or application of base coat but you can find my previous video and a nail prep video in the description box below. Okay, I'll just jump right into it. I wiped any dust that could have been collected on the nail while I was working on the other ones. I wanted to use paper forms because my natural nails have a tiny free edge right now and paper forms will help for the gel not to run off under the nail. But when my nails are a bit grown out, I just apply fiberglass directly on the IBD gel without any paper forms. Then I applied a thin layer of IBD gel and I went over the paper form to create an extension base. I didn't apply base gel first because I still had a thin layer of that on my nails. But IBD gel definitely needs a base coat. I rolled fiberglass with an orange stick to smooth it out, which is easier done ahead of time. And I applied fiberglass on top of the IBD gel. I used an orange stick to help fibers to spread and stick to the gel. Next, I made a big mistake. I started clipping fiberglass before curing. I should have cured it first, but it's manageable. Then I cured it for 10 seconds and pinched the nail with a clip to shape a better arch and more slim looking nail. Because I don't want pierogi <laughs> looking nails. Then I grabbed a larger bead of the builder gel and went back and forth with the brush spreading the gel all over but leaving the most material on the apex, spreading it then on the sidewalls and the free edge of the nail. And while you're watching this I would like to make a little side note. So I've tried this vlogmas thing and I failed completely. <laughs> But I did learn an important lesson there, not to make any impulse decisions. I'm not embarrassed by those videos at all, but I have decided to delete them because I think they're messing up with my channel analytics. And now back to nails. I give it at least 15 seconds to level and I flip my finger upside down, which helps the gravity to do its job into my advantage. After curing, I have snipped the remaining fibers off and ended up adding a bit more gel underneath the nails anyway. And I cured that for another 30 seconds. Once I was done with all the nails, I began to file. First I filed off extra length with my e-file. I wanted my nails to be squoval squ <laughs> shape, I can never say it right. So I switched to hand filing trying to create that. I used 180 grid file. Then I started filing on top of the nail, trying to smooth out any imperfections and making sure that the nail surface is smooth and has a nice shape. Plus, I take off a bit more on the sides and on top of the free edge to slim down the nail. Some nails seem to need less filing and it depends on how well I level the IBD gel. And look at that arch! Sexy. And yes, time and effort are directly related to successful outcome. What can I say? I've spent a lot of time working on them. To me, it's worth it. 
I cleaned up my cuticle area and when all the filing was done, I wiped the dust off the best I could because the dust is an enemy of a good manicure. But what a friend of a good manicure, you might ask? It's a base coat applied before color. Base gel will even out any imperfections that might be left after filing. Absolutely not a necessary step for a pro, but it's a big helper for a beginner. Another reason I do it is that I don't always do my nails in one sitting. It might be the next day when I come back to finish with the color and design. And things like taking a shower, washing dishes, doing laundry and other water-related activities may ruin all the hard work done. I applied it on all nails and cured it. And now I'll show you what I've got for Christmas. I've got this cool cat eye gel set. I'm so excited to try them. It comes in eight colors and the film was kind of hard to remove. I had to use the exacto knife. I swatched all the colors on bare tips first. And one might be disappointed at this stage. All the colors seem a little dull. They look a lot brighter on the main listing image. But looking back at the Amazon's listing, they do inform a buyer that black base is needed for the color to appear brighter. So that's what I did. I chose color number two, which has blue tint to it. And this is what it looks like with the black base. It definitely works. But there is a little note here. You can use with any color gel for base color gel. And then I thought to just use whatever color I have that matches the color shift in the cat eye gels. For the blue color shift, I picked this kind of violet blue for the base and I freaking love it. And I wanted to swatch all of them like that, so BAM! Those are so cool. Unfortunately, the camera does not show the full beauty of them, but they are gorgeous. Okay, now getting back to my nails. I really like the combination with the number seven and it's purple and purple is my favorite color. I did use the burgundy base for that though. First, I applied very thin layer of the color because I wanted to cure very well. I do think it's best to do a couple of thin layers than one thick. By the way, if you ever have an issue with the color gel peeling off the base gel after curing or a couple of days later, it is usually because base gel and color gel are not compatible. This might happen when the base gel and the color gel are different brands. After curing for 30 seconds first coat of color, I pushed my cuticles back. Then with a thin brush, I got closer to the cuticles with the color gel. If it is cleaned up well and does not have any dust, it should not run under the skin. I flash cured it for 10 seconds and then went back with a second coat of burgundy. Second layer of color will give it a more vibrant color and I cured it for another 30 seconds. Before applying cat eye gel, I wiped any tacky residue that might be left after curing and only then apply cat eye gel. On a more smooth surface, magnetic particles can move easier, making a prettier design. I placed the magnet diagonally over the nail for a few seconds and only then cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. In the instructions, it says to cure for 2 minutes, but while swatching, I realized that 1 minute was enough. This is the first time I'm doing cat eye on all nails and I thought it is best to apply magnet in the same manner to all of them. Cat eye gel on its own is so beautiful and I think simplicity is what works here. Making different patterns on each nail may make it look too busy. I polished my nails with vitamin E oil and a silicone bit and somehow I didn't film how I applied top coat before oil and now I'm actually questioning myself if I ever did. I had to, right? Did apply top coat underneath my nails to seal IBD gel in, so there was a top coat after all. And here's the finished result. And if I had to put it in the words of my youngest child... So beautiful. These turned out absolutely gorgeous. I'm in love with these nails. I really am. And I'm gonna have my favorite color, purple, on my nails for my birthday. I hope I finish editing and publishing this video before then. And one more thing. Subscribing to my channel is a good karma. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.